Now what? Those are all the tea cup with the cup. Each person tributes one cup with a two serving of tea. So here's the two five five. this to the kitchen to heat up all the cups. What is this one? Flower, uh, it's a fruit tea. Okay, so here we're ready. Look at the colorful selections we have in here, or oh, they even move the uh, sugar from yes, here. Yes. It's so sweet. You see, yours is come from come with this uh, oh, fruit nice, tea, nice. and uh, yours is come with this uh, uh, Guanyin tea, okay. like a Buddha, Iron Buddha, and this is a black tea. <laughs> I'm going to move to the kitchen and uh, to get all heat up. Okay. Do we go or stay? No, you stay here. Oh. <laughs> So how do you determine what who gets what tea? Oh, it's because uh, the tea comes with the cup. So it's all had a name in there. <laughs> got it? <laughs> I got it. Yes. And the, even though those tea have already been hand washed, but still each time I would uh, to heat it with hot water. Important, but not just for sanitation reasons. Yes, that's right. It's, uh, purity and <coughs> this little teacup is come from John the Beverly Berry's son, Philip Berry. Do people give you teacups to add to your collection? Yes. Oh, yeah, I mean, each sing single teacup is all been given by different people. And why did you choose to um, focus mm -hmm. on tea? Because you've done this before with tea, and it's, yes. e it's evolved, hasn't it? Yes, uh-huh. Yeah, before it is uh, using single teacup as I designed, but this time it's all being offered by all individual people, so it's uh, showing the connection, interaction through teacups, but on the other hand, it is a visual, still is a visual impact. And the challenge about this is that each tea need to go with a different, um, different teapot in the way of how to making it.
Where do you get your teas? It's all provided by each person. I just uh, mentioned about the each tea cup come with a two serving of tea by those individual people. So everything in the show is all tribute by somebody, someone. <laughs> you tea, tea spirit. Okay, I'm going to get this one. it's always a surprise, even in my end, always surprising me which teacup I'm choosing by home, oh, uh -huh. because it's, it's a surprising I imagine it's very fascinating to watch that. Oh, yes. Thank you. I never would have thought they would have chosen that. Or it is a visual. It's a visual mm -hmm. impact. Mm -hmm. And this is a coaster actually made specifically for I see that. Show. Yeah. I guess we can call you a tea-centric. <laughs> tea-centric? <laughs> Instead of a dis-centric, a tea-centric. Yes. Sugar. I don't know what I have, I don't think I'll eat it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't have any of this. Thank you for you to share. I mean, look at this a colorful. Isn't that beautiful? It is. Tea. Interesting. Tree tea for you. Go with the, the famous 255 made by you. <laughs> oh, help. That really helped. And I was glad to do that. Yes. And then Lisa, I'm going to have you to join this uh, wonderful group in here. And uh, with your Guanyin Buddha. Guanyin Buddha tea. I was telling her it's been so long since uh, I'd uh, helped you with that, I'd forgotten what had happened. Yes. You had him that we brought in the green work up and was concerned it was too large. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and then I think it was a certain kind of temperature. Yeah, when it fired. It yes, right. it fired. Yes. Yes. It has to be uh -huh. a certain temperature. Yeah. It's so that it would fire and, yes. and be useful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, the little 255 cup? Yes, uh huh. So that yeah. and the zero cup he made. All right, oh. he helped her finish. Yes. I believe and she got the greenware and then they did that. And uh, where, where did you make it? Well, I had a ceramic shop on 34th Street mm -hmm. at that time, and uh, she was not aware of the old 15 to 20 percent shrinkage of porcelain as it fires. It densifies and shrinks in size from the raw clay to the fired piece. Mm -hmm. And her, she had purchased these in raw, and they were substantially larger, mm -hmm. and she thought she was messed up. And I told her, no, we will fire it, it would be the right size. And surely it was. It did well. Well, why, are they, why is it called 255? That's hers, not mine. <laughs> oh, we don't know that. <laughs> That's hers, not mine. That would have to come from her. And, and you're videoing this? <laughs> hmm? She's videoing us. Oh, yeah. I don't recall, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's significance, I don't remember it's computer related or what. Hmm. Well, she has the same number of T's over there. Uh -huh. I'm not really so sure. I, know that, I don't know if that's what she called this installation or... No, this was, this was years ago when mm -hmm. she did this. Mm -hmm. Look, she brought us little, yeah, little tea okay. biscuits. Uh -huh. We have ours. Thank mm -hmm. you. She's showing it so it can be... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she poured mine for me. I'll be looking at my teapots completely different now. <laughs> Every time I look at my teapot, I'll be think of this moment. I have a small collection of teapots. It drives him crazy, but you know, pretty teapots are just special. They just bring something, you know, to a home, and if they're old, I started out with a very old one. 
and uh, it was actually from a nursery rhyme my grandmother had gotten it when I was small. And uh, things like that just mean so much to you and just carry, you know, you think back memories of, of the person you used it with and it's just, it's very, very nice. Yes, I have my grandmother's demi toss cups I have that some. I used to play with when I was a little girl and had yeah. little tea, tea yeah. time. <laughs> you know, and then you have your little delicate biscuits. Oh, yes. And, and then I have a teapot that a friend gave to me um, uh, from the 50s. Mm -hmm. And then I have about three of these in different sizes. Those are interesting. And you know about the dragonfly, right? Not no, sure. Uh-uh. What's the significance? Um, it, it, it's a symbol. I don't think it's just for deco. It is decorative, but it de the dragon. has a deeper meaning. Wei Hong? Yes. Isn't the dragonfly, do you know what the symbol of the dragonfly is? Life. The well, you have the dragonfly here, but the dragonfly is about going through some hard, hard challenges yes. and then um, uh, the transitioning from coming out of that into the new. Oh, that's beautiful. Because I know butterfly representing like a, yeah. being born again. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So, so. Uh, well, I saw a dragonfly on my front porch and it was red and I took a photograph oh, of it. Wow. It's unusual. And I posted it on my Facebook page and all these people responded. Yes. And that's when I found out that they were a symbol in, in the Asian world yes. and I forget where else, but in different cultures that it symbolized uh, transitioning. Okay, from the That's great to know. And we're in that new cycle That's now. Great to know. Yes. Uh, with the Mayan calendar and everything. The truth so. is, you know, like I know Melissa and you for so long, but this is the first time you truly finally involved with my tea project yep. to be part of it now mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, welcome. But of course, in the last 10 years, uh, I already drink tea with over 1,000 people from everywhere around the world. Must be fascinating. It is. Because um, um, each person, I also take a picture of them. Mm. Yeah, I and, saw uh, some of your pictures of the wall. Yes, in my previous uh, tea project, I always uh, sit down to, like for instance, I only have four teacups mm -hmm. putting on the table. Mm -hmm. So we just drink tea like this mm -hmm. in black and white uh, mm -hmm. uh, kind of setup. Mm -hmm. But this time I turned this into a tea house. Mm -hmm. So I, I become like act like a hostess. Right. So I'm like just running around when I have time, I'm gonna sit down, uh -huh. have a little talk. You see like at 3.30, mm -hmm. we'll have a more group come in. Mm -hmm. And my idea is uh, to rotate people within half an hour or 15 minutes. Yeah. But you still can stay here because the other people will come to do the same thing mm -hmm. through this whole process. Mm -hmm. And uh, so all those table being you know, been there for all those different groups. She was asking the significance of the 255. 255 means RGB, red, blue, and uh, green mm -hmm. in a uh, computer digital number. Okay. It means 100% white, and the zero is 100% black. So yes. then it's like yes. a Tai Chi symbol. Mm -hmm. You know, like Tai Chi Chi symbol is yin the black yang. and white, the yin yang, yes. but uh, with the white and the, and the, black. And the black eyes, or yes. E, seeds in it. Okay. So that emphasizes the change. So then it's not about the black and white. It's okay. more deep meaning yes. about yes. the change of the, the universe. I had a feeling that it was somehow connected to computers, but I didn't know the exact yes. rationale. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but that always, uh, you know, yeah. bring out a good conversation. Because yes. of my idea, I'm a visual artist, yes. so I like to bring people, lead them into a visual kind of a, you know, impression first, and before to go dig into the deeper meaning to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, no matter in which level, I think uh, as long as you come for a cup of tea, I already reached my goal. <laughs> it's all about the tea drinking. And the people actually, um, you know, not a lot of, I mean, for instance, if you haven't been participating, because I only requested my previous tea, tea guest already mm -hmm. on my website, for them to down their teacups and tea. Mm -hmm. So each cup with the two serving of tea. In the beginning, I wasn't really sure why I'm asking two servings. Mm -hmm. It's a, kind of like, a, you know, just subconscious mm -hmm. to request that. Now I know why, because uh, until this weekend, I probably almost going to close to uh, 80 tea guests drink tea already. Mm -hmm. As you notice, I'm already putting dots. Yes. And uh, so after 200 teacups being used, all the red dots were taken away and started again. And then started again. <laughs> so then, uh, you know, other people can get a chance to use in the teacup um, mm -hmm. for the same tea provided by the same person. But in the future, if this show become a travel show, the, right now a French gallery mm -hmm. in Beijing are very interested in this project. Mm -hmm. 
And so if we move on to another venue, I need to write to all those tea guests to simply send the tea to me. So oh, by then, okay. they will find some interesting uh -huh, That would be very interesting, yes. 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 Well, we can get so, that time. Yeah. Yes, you will be included next time. Yes. The dragon has been a subject of uh, intrigue. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. You know, my sister-in-law, she's she dragonfly is her part of her life. She collects mm -hmm. all those single dra dragonflies, arts and crafts uh, to dry it. Mm -hmm. Creatures. It's beautiful. As I understand it, the uh, dragonfly nymph is a insect in the stream mm -hmm. underwater. Mm -hmm. yes. And it emerges into the dragonfly. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a huge change, I believe. Well, that's probably why the symbolism is mm -hmm. what the metamorphosis it is. Metamorphosis from that. Yes. Mm -hmm. This tea is really good. It's like very it. perfumey. Uh huh. What is it? Yes, uh, that is uh, uh, Tie Guan Yin, Iron Buddha. Well, yes. I want more. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to get some. <laughs> I need to find out where that tea comes from. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yours is the black tea. Mine, Mine is the... Is the uh, Yours is the Iron Buddha. Yes. Let me take a picture of this. That's very good. It doesn't mean it's sugary things. No. I'm sure yours doesn't no, either. No, not, at all. not at all. I drink green tea every morning with fresh grated ginger in it oh. and a dash of cayenne pepper. Oh. It's good for the... It's off to a good yes. start. Ginger and the... Cayenne.